What's up, everybody? Once again, it's Brandman and Sean, and today I'm linking up with Teacup once again. Some of y'all have probably already seen that interview with her before. Hey, she's dope. She moves around, um, helps artists get shows, throw shows, good with the knowledge and good with the community. Um, one of those people who's really moving and working. And today she's hitting me with five artists, or really eight artists, to really look out for. When it comes to 2020, we at the beginning of the year. Let's see how this pans out. I'm interested to hear about these people and hopefully get put on to a couple. So, give me, give, give me artist number one, uh, Tika. Like, and, and you know, also, also, if you got anything else to say, go ahead and intro yourself if you need to drop something. All right. Well, y'all already know Teacup, your favorite cup of tea. Thank you, Sean, for the intro and for having me back again. I do appreciate it. Um, first artist that I would say is Mrs. Cash Page. So Cash Page, she was originally born in Grand Prairie, Texas, um, but she was raised and cultivated her fan base in Dallas, Texas. Um, she has, you should check out two of her most popular songs, um, Love Songs, which was, which gained its popularity on TikTok, which Sean, you know, you're always pushing and promoting TikTok. Good show. You said it was, so, like, it was popping on TikTok? Yep. It was popping on TikTok. Um, I know Cash Page was saying in interviews, like she wasn't even using TikTok and, you know, her fans happened to use it and like create videos for it. So Love Songs is one. And then also Six Four. So she has, a lot of people like to compare her to Dej Loaf. I feel like she's a bit more sultry and her R&B is a bit more softer than Dej Loaf. Um, she's turning 19 in January. She's already been breaking records. Um, when Love Songs came out, it was like the top 100 Billboard charts. Um, really? Yep. She just released the Park Cars Convos. And then in 2020, you can expect her to release Teenage Fever. So um, she's been posting about being in the studio with Black, because I know he mentioned wanting to collab with her. Um, Kylie Jenner has been posting her music. So yep, she's definitely someone to watch in 2020. Well, that makes me want to hear her stuff a little bit, because I, I definitely haven't heard of her. Yeah, yeah. So let me. Let me play half a second of, of this music. You, you might not even be able to hear it well. I just want to, let me see. Got your time. Who you been vibing with? Oh. Uh, that song is blowing up. Okay, yeah, that joint went crazy on TikTok. I definitely know that song. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, see, that's, that's the power of TikTok, people, right? Like she said, she wasn't even trying to use it. It blew up. That's probably one of the biggest songs on TikTok. And that song isn't even, um, that song isn't, it's not even like that kind of beat, bass heavy, and it's going crazy. People think you only have to have hardcore rap songs on TikTok, and that one. Right. I can't believe she only, she only 19. I thought that was, I don't even know who I thought that was. That's dope. Yep, she That's made dope. the song when she was 18, and yep, she's about to turn 19. Yep, yep, it's crazy. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. She, she already got one. Uh, got a fan out of me. I didn't even know I was a fan. I thought that might have been like a Janae Iko or, or I don't know. Right. Was, <laughs> okay. Bet. So another person, um, he's more so leading the underground, the DIY underground scene in Atlanta. So we kind of had like Gunna come out. Um, we had Lil' Key come out this year and they were stamped by Thug, but this man is creating his own lane. Um, his name is Kenny Mason. So yep, he's here from Atlanta. And I feel like he, he raps a lot about being hood, like, you know, he talks about where he's from, Deal Ave, um, about, he has one song called Hit, so it's about, you know, I guess scamming someone, you know, doing a lot of stuff that people do in the hood. Um, yeah. But it really feels, it doesn't feel like that trap, that trappish sound that you would expect to hear. So it's very lyrical. Even though he's talking about trap shit, you know, if that kind of makes sense, what I'm saying. But, mm -hmm. um, yeah, and he does sound, he has this other song, um, besides he it's called Angelic Hood Rat. It actually, I feel like that song is kind of really stamping him as an artist, like, that's how he's kind of cultivating his own sound, to really sound very angelic, but he's talking about hood shit. 
Um, he's been on, I saw he's did Rolling Loud, I believe twice this year. And in the premiering of the Angelic Hood Rat, it was premiered on Zane Lowe's um, radio station on Apple Radio. So, yep, I think he's definitely going to be the 2020 breakout star that we should pay attention to. I could to. definitely see that. I've been, I've been following Kenny for about two years now. And sometimes when you catch people earlier on, you don't actually realize when other people start to catch on to him. So it, it's, it's shocking the hell out of me to see he got 1.1 million views on a video in a month. So they definitely doing the work. Um, yeah. over there. I remember yeah. when they dropped that um, hit video, I want to say Denzel Curry tweeted it out and I know Denzel Curry brought him out um, during a Red Bull Fest in Atlanta mm -hmm. and yeah, like he's he's really he's really cultivating his like underground following. He's really getting the city behind him and I could see him being one of those type of artists like when he breaks or when he makes it, he's going to definitely like pull other people up, similar to how Thug did and it's going to really be that cultural stamp. Yeah, that's that's dope, man. Yeah, I mean, he has a dope team behind him, and I believe he's cool with uh, Jid, right? I believe so. Yeah, Jid, um, Earth Gang, like they've been like speaking yeah. on him and a lot of the underground. So it's all coming. It's all coming. Bridging that gap, what people's been missing on the scene. <laughs> um, next, I would want to say is Ruby Rose. So Ruby Rose, like a lot of people know her from being like that Instagram chick, you know, looking real good. Um, she was featured in the Bad and Bougie video by Migos and Lil Uzi back in 2016. So that's yeah. where she kind of gained like a lot of that popularity. And she's known for dating Playboy Cardi. But um, she's from Atlanta. She gained her fan base um, cultivating at Georgia State. She, I would say her voice is very hit your dance, yep, and Big Mouth are definitely the two songs to look at. That especially um, I would say Hit Your Dance. Even though Big Mouth is a bit more popular, um, Hit Your Dance, I really like that one because of just how aggressive she is. She's very aggressive and she has the voice for it. You know, like it's very cultivated. Like I would say, even if she doesn't pursue rapping, she should definitely look into being like an MC or like a radio personality. For sure. I so she's been interesting to me because the first time I actually like became aware of her, she was actually doing like some some coverage of one of my events. Oh right? wow! And she was she just hit up she so she wanted to cover the festival. I didn't know anything about her that. Um, Play, play, uh, playboard cardi or any of that she mm -hmm. i was just like okay yeah cool she cool and and she looked like she popping mm -hmm. she wants to cover the event cool come I cover like the I event that your adventure time festival yeah yeah when i was doing that festival and then oh let me quit playing this before they try to get me for 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 the uh, visuals with the copyright but then i heard that she was becoming a rapper but honestly you know you hear that about a lot of girls who have followers and things like that mm -hmm. so when Hit Your Dance came, because I heard some kind of some of the music, but when I Hit Your Dance came, and the fact that she came with that kind of voice, that like little Kimish voice. Yes. Brown voice. I was like, oh, I didn't see this coming. She she definitely has something. She, she definitely get, could be a solid artist. I don't know to what level, but she definitely could do her thing and tour for some years if she wanted to. Definitely, definitely. Especially with the lane that like Megan has created where it's okay to be hot. So... Mm -hmm. I definitely see something with her. Um, next up, Baby Keem. Oh, uh, man. Like, he um, was known pretty much for, like, riding on some past um, TDE projects. Um, I want to say, I can't think of which one specifically, uh, but I know he's written for, like, Kendrick and, like I said, he's died and a couple people that's been on the label. Um, but he was originally born in Las Vegas, and he was raised in... Los Angeles. Um, he had a really good breakout project this year called Die For My Bitch. Um, the most popular song out is Orange Soda, but my favorite has to be like Invented It or Bullies. So those are one of my favorites. Um, so I think you showed me Invented It. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I, I definitely sound and he doesn't even sound like he's like could you hear that yeah i can hear it yeah okay yeah i like i definitely like that vibe better than orange soda 
Because I honestly yes. didn't like orange soda. Just to be real. I didn't like orange soda either, but that's everyone's popular, everyone's favorite song. Um, but when he did his tour, he did his first tour this year, and Drake popped up at his Toronto stop. Um, so, yep. And then Drake recently did an interview right before the year ended, and he mentioned that he'll be the next star of 2020. So that's definitely something to look out for. He's definitely been in position for the decade. That's That's for sure. Yeah, that's true. That's true. You know, finally, after a lot of people's played their background role for so long, you know, it's time for them to bring their talents to life and use it for self. So, yep. Who else we got? Okay. And then my number five is Baby Rose. I just love her so much. Um, she's She's got her career started in Atlanta. She makes like very deep, very soulful R&B. And it's kind of like when you hear her music, when you hear her music, you might associate it with somebody that came out in the 80s or somebody that was probably born in like the 70s or 80s. But no, she's like in her early 20s and she has this really innocent look. It's like so, it's like so funny because everybody always says like she doesn't look how she sounds. Um, but I um loved her on she was on the dreamville project revenge of the dreamers three um and she was also featured on big crits project that released this year and yep all to myself mortal and show you are some of her best hits those i would say to me um and she had a really good breakout this year um opening for ari lennox on her shea butter baby tour mm. yeah uh, she definitely has a voice oh wow a, a great voice, a different vibe than everybody else. If you're into that soulful stuff, you can tell by the people you see on the sides. Noah Allegra, mm -hmm. Elia, Ari Lennox. So if you like that vibe of uh, music, side note, this chick right here is Savannah Christina. Yes. She's doing her thing. She's been going crazy with uh, that little series of her just sitting there and, and dropping music. But anybody yeah. interested in her, yeah, that's, like that's a good sign. She's breaking out from Miami, so... That's what she's from. Florida. Yep, from Florida. So, or she that's where I would say she's gained her popularity in Florida. That's why she has that uh she's able to do those videos next to the water and stuff like that. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. Definitely check out Savannah Christina too. Um I would say three of my popular ones that I think you should also watch out for. Um Duke Deuce, he is signed to QC. Um, I want to originally say he's from Tennessee. Not quite sure. I haven't looked into that yet. But I love just what QC is doing with him. Um, he has, it's like they're reinventing the crunk. So they have this song out called Crunk Ain't Dead. I know you've seen it everywhere, like all over social media. I actually haven't, I actually haven't man. I've been so, you know, in my zone. That makes me want to hear it, though. All right. Let me find it. So it's bringing back that feeling of like stomping on top of cars and bringing back that head bopping and like yeah. dancing, just like a reinvergent being in the crunk. Oh yeah, that's that was a fun time. So shoot, I can it could easy come back with me. Yo, 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 feeling that all right i already know what that is that whole energy that whole thing so i could i might have to look deeper into him i've been hearing about him for for a little bit i, mm -hmm. I think you might have been did you interview him um i didn't i actually didn't um i didn't interview him i do like his other song he's got it's called yeah um so definitely be on the lookout with him qc knows exactly what they're doing qc is based in atlanta so they know exactly what they're doing um and then another person i would say look out for is two live brie so it's two live b r e and it's a guy he was featured on um this season of rhythm and flow netflix he is from nashville tennessee he he has a song with duke deuce as well um it's a twerk song i really like with it it's called too thick she thick there we go she thick and then he also has another song with london b who was also on the show as well netflix and flow so like i first met him at a showcase here in atlanta i was hosting a shout out to busy um he pretty much has like he has like a very fun vibe like he's he has 
because like I've been hearing about him, like a lot of like younger, the younger crowd likes him. Mm-hmm. That's the next twerk song we should be on the lookout for. All right, let me see, see what that is. Oh, it's not even Lotus. All right, I'll pull him up. So he, he's all twerk, or is it? Is it? Um, is that it's just? Internet acting up. So he's what is his main vibe? Because you you described Duke Deuce's crunk at the core. You know, as far as that energy, what kind of energy is he bringing? I would say Bree brings fun, not necessarily crunk or not necessarily twerk or not necessarily one thing, um, because he does have multiple types of sounds where he can be more serious and more like cautious. But I would definitely say the vibe I got from seeing him perform or seeing him on the show Rhythm and Flow um, or seeing a couple of his videos is he's really fun. Um, They shot that video in Atlanta. Both him and London, they shot that at Little Five Points across the street from Al Five, and you can see the Al Five menu in the back. Um, the the, the um, Outback store that's like next to the Al Five. Right. So okay. yep, I definitely say he's someone to watch for. He's been doing music since he was a teenager, probably like thirteen or fourteen. How old is um, he now? He. That's a good question. I want to say he, like he might be nineteen still. I want to say he's about 22, 23. Don't quote me. I, I haven't asked how old he is, um, but I can get him in an interview soon so we can find out. Okay. And then, last but not least, it's this guy named Splurge. Now, he is 18. He's from Arlington, Texas. Um, he has this really heavy voice. Um, his popular song is Intro Part 2. So it's produced by Beat by Jeff, who Beat by Jeff, his producer, um, now got signed to Rich the Kid. Um, he has these projects, Glenn Baby and Glenn Baby 2. So like Texas kind of has this no melody type sound mm-hmm. where it's just like you hear just the heavy 808s. So like that's part of like his flow. He's really more so stamped for that flow. But that flow is just like a Texas sound. That's how like a lot of artists from Texas sound. And it's really influencing more so like hip hop and underground music in the world. So, so yep, it's splurge. All right. Let me see what it, what it looked like, what it feel like. Intro part two, okay, you on world star. To the pet like a press for Ryan. Give me that hit, baby. Come with your mind. Too many bust down, make them hot white and line. Well, you know you brought the bitch, you just fine. Okay. I went up like a balloon. Man. All right. Yep. You pretty much just hear the 808 in the bag. You don't really hear like a melody, or you don't really hear like a um like the hook. You more so. so. Okay. Yep, All and right. that's really that's really the Texas sound that we can expect in 2020. That's the sound. Okay, that's the sound you see coming out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's interesting to hear stuff from different regions and where things are at right now. Cause it's funny, some of this stuff, it'll. I feel like today, and maybe that's just like how old people feel, right? When you get started to absorb a little music and you have some years, it's like some of the sounds that might be associated with a region don't sound like they came from that region. But if it's, but for whatever reason, the youth now is making it the sound of that region. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like I feel, yep. like I've I've heard that sound before that, and it wasn't a Texas sound back back then. Mm. Like it was, I don't know who was associated with it, but it was almost like a just some general stuff. But then they're latching on to one thing. There's a lot of kids in New York right now latching on yeah. to like that more that sound. Yeah, that like, drill and that grime sound. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so it's like it's, it's interesting to see that and how people kind of cross cross breed throughout regions but then they do put their own tweak on it and then own it and create their own little vibe out of it so all right cool yeah well you know it's nothing never really new under the sun but i feel like more so since atlanta kind of has that stamp on what it sound is like um not saying it's influencing more cities to do so but more cities are more so honing in on that specific sound so you can really identify where certain sounds or where certain songs are kind of coming from um yeah. i did just google duke deuce he is from memphis so yep he is from tennessee so they kind of have like if you listen to like young Dolph, they really have this heavy this boom 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 type of yeah. sound you know yeah yeah so like the trunk beating memphis like now. yes yeah i love memphis stuff all right bet we well, got anything else that's is that all eight 
Yep, that's all eight. Cool. Everybody, I just linked up again with Teacup. Y'all can see how to uh, where to follow her at Teacup, where you see her name in the screen, at Teacup on all platforms. Check her out. She's dope. Follow her. All that good stuff. Hopefully we do this again. Y'all already know where to find me at Brand Man Sean. If you like this video, go ahead and like button. If you like it, might as well share it. If you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe.